The news today seems to be full of increased in criminal activities across the country involving cattle rustlers, headsmen, suicide bombers, as well as kidnappers. Well, to discuss this and how to tackle this at this point, I've been joined on the News at 10 by retired Colonel Hassan Stan Labo. Thank you very much for joining us. Thanks, Ladi. Why is there this increase, do you think? It, it appears as if there is an increase, isn't there? Yeah, right. And why? Why, why <coughs> so? Why now? Uh, first of all, Ladi, I think um, we have not been able to put in place what I would call appropriate urban security strategies for our cities, you know. And secondly, I think um, we are not applying sanctions. There are no sanctions. If there are, why are we not applying them? Because look, let me tell you, irrespective of whether the Fulani is involved in, I'm looking at the head, headsman yes, the headsman, now, because yes. you mentioned a lot of other things. If the Fulani is involved, are whether foreign Fulani or indigenous Fulani, I think that's irrelevant. The most important thing is that there is an infraction on our law. And that calls for what? Arrest and uh, 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 necessary uh, uh, trials. We are not seeing any of this happening. And so since there are no sanctions that would have served as deterrence to others, we begin to see how these things are escalating. Well, if, if, the <coughs> DSS, if the DSS is to be believed, they are making some arrests, even though the prosecutory part of it may not quite yet be visible, but they are making some arrests. But I, I was wondering if, indeed, this, this, this aspect of what's going on also brings to mind the issue of synergy between the agencies, because there are various levels of criminality involved, and possibly all of them can be tackled by a single agency. Uh, I think to a greater extent, we want the level of synergy ongoing among the law enforcement agencies, even though I would say there is still room for improvement. And then outside the law enforcement agencies, um, uh, I think I would still want to see some serious cooperation by the judiciary. Okay? I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I, I'm not a lawyer. but. You see, as a nation, we must remain focused. We know what we want. It's just like the graft, anti-graft war thing. You know, it's unfortunate that um, when you catch one big thief and send him to the courts, the whole sons in Nigeria are lined up be behind him to defend him just because everybody wants a slice from the cake. We know him as a big thief. And everybody, all this, our lawyers just thought only how to lie, and that's all. Senior lawyers, for that matter. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. In bringing you back to this issue of the security <coughs> threats, uh, take a look at, for example, what's happening in the University of Maiduguri. For just now taking it to the terrorism aspect of it. Yeah. Over the last couple of weeks, there have been attempts, and sometimes successful ones, to detonate IEDs in that university. In fact, only yesterday, the National Assembly passed a resolution asking for action to prevent the closure of the institution as a result of these threats. Now, some have pointed out that there is a lack in the human intelligence capacity, that many of these people are not outsiders. They are people who live within those communities and that people sometimes know them. Ladi, intelligence must be citizen-driven, okay? The citizen must be seen to be taking ownership of his security. If they do that, if we place the citizen at the center of it all, I think we should have quite some leverage of improvement okay uh if we are not doing that then i'm afraid i'm afraid the result will not be to our satisfaction why because let's face it when the citizen takes ownership of his security this concept of see something say something, say something. you don't have to preach it anymore he knows what he's got to do inform the nearest law enforcement agents. When we are talking about terrorism, these guys live amongst us. Terrorism is a different ball game altogether. Okay? These guys live amongst us. And in most cases, like you know with terrorism, the, the, the battle space at times is not even defined. Okay? The guy might be living amongst you, but he's faceless. It could be your own blood brother or sister dining with you on the same dining table only in the next two three hours 
he's exploding a bomb in one motor park somewhere. And when you see his cops, you get shot. My own blood brother, that's terrorism for you. So we must do everything to ensure that citizens get soaked into this idea of, look, taking the ownership of security. Thank you very much, uh, retired <coughs> Colonel Hassan Stan Labo, for joining us tonight. I appreciate it's a very that. complicated problem, yeah. but we hope we will be able to get out sure. of it. Thank sure. Thank you. Thank you.